a collective of doulas and birth professionals seeking to educate the community about birth choices um, while also providing support for one another. That's the essential mission statement that we have. Capital City Doulas was founded about three years ago, maybe a little over three years ago. Uh, basically, it's a group, it's a collective of doulas and other birth professionals. Uh, the birth professionals that are not doulas range from childbirth educators, lactation consultants, um, chiropractors, uh, any type of professional within the birth or postpartum realm. Um, and we are a collective that is seeking to uh, bring uh, the information about birth, doulas, choices in childbirth to the community. Since about May, we've got five new members. Uh, some members have moved away, some members have retired from being a doula, um, but we continue to grow. Um, we, we very rarely have less than 19 or 20 doulas. I think the number one misconception that people have about doula service is that we are medical professionals, or a lot of people think that the term doula and midwife is interchangeable. Um, a doula is different than a midwife in that she does not perform any kind of medical tasks. Um, she doesn't take blood pressure, does do cervical checks, prescribe drugs of any kind. Uh, that doula's function is solely to support the choices of the laboring mom and helping her um, get the type of information and educational support she needs to make informed decisions. It's like nothing else that we experience in life. A doula is somebody who has the emotional well-being of the birthing mother and her partner in mind through the entire birth process. And she's there, you know, accompanying the couple, helps them prepare for birth beforehand while they're still pregnant, but ultimately is um, a physical presence there with them protecting the emotional space so that the birthing mother has a calm space to give birth in uh, so that they understand what's happening at all the points in the process. We need someone to play that out with. We need someone to bounce ideas off of. We need someone to help us navigate the sometimes overwhelming fields of um, internet information, medical information, fads, um, cultural temperatures, you know, like what's in now, what's new practice, you know, someone who's maybe a little bit more familiar with it, um, not to make decisions for us, but to get to support us and empower us to make our own decisions for our own bodies. I think the mo most of what I do is hold space for people to come and find their own strengths and their own voice um, and make the sometimes harder decisions that are in the gray areas around birth and parenthood that no one else can make for you. Just I think by virtue of like how old I am and my where I am in life, I end up with a lot of clients that are new moms in my office as a therapist. And I started noticing this kind of phenomenon of all these women who had these like birth stories that were troublesome to them that they just couldn't get over. And it would lead to like postpartum depression and postpartum anxiety and trouble attaching. And um, there, there wasn't a lot of commonality. Like some women, they had a C-section. Other women had a perfectly healthy vaginal birth, but they just weren't okay about it. And um, I started looking into it and looking into what are some of the commonalities behind these women that's like setting them up for a bad start. And that's how I fell into the whole looking into doula thing. Because what I found is that what's more important than how a woman gives birth is that she gives birth with um, support, that she feels heard, that she feels empowered, that she feels like she was a part of the decision-making process, and that that matters more than how it happened. When I see a woman emerge on the other side of probably one of the most challenging things she's ever done in her entire life, and she gets to the other side of it, whatever that looks like, and she can look at me and say, thank you, and she can look at me and, and I know that, um, that she feels supported, that she felt um, that she didn't feel alone, that she felt understood, that she felt safe, that she felt empowered, and I look at her smiling and holding her baby and knowing that I contributed that, it's the best feeling in the world. It's like a drug. You get addicted to it, you want to do it again and again and again kind of one of those things where you go home with a big smile on your face. I don't know if in like 50 years we'll still be called doula, but the actual job of a doula is not going anywhere.
know. I think as long as people are having babies, whether it be in the hospital, birth center, or at home, there'll, there'll always be a need and a desire to have that type of support. Thank you.